On September 7, 1814, 35-year-old American lawyer Francis Scott Key boarded the British flagship HMS Tonnet. He was summoned by U.S. officials to be a hostage negotiator for the American prisoners during the Battle of Baltimore in the War of 1812. The negotiations went well, but he was detained after overhearing tactics of the battle. The British were planning to attack the major port city of Fort McHenry with all the ammunition they had. The British even said that if the Americans would lower their flag, the bombing would cease and the United States would once again be under British rule. On September 13th, the bombing began. Key watched as Fort McHenry, his home, was directly hit over and over again. He could hear the prisoners praying, God, please, keep the flag flying. He would later go on to write, It seemed as though Mother Earth had opened up and was vomiting shot and shell in a sheet of fire and brimstone. As the day faded into darkness, all Key could see was red. The guns and bombing bellowed on for 25 hours. More than 1,500 cannonballs, shells, and rockets were fired. When Key looked out on the morning of September 14th, the smoke began to clear. He saw a beautiful sight. That battered 15-starred and striped 30 by 42-foot American flag still waved proudly, announcing victory over the British, forcing them to withdraw. He immediately began to write a poem based on the sight he had just witnessed. The rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Key recognized that the flag is a symbol of freedom. He fused the physical symbol in courage, patriotism, and resilience. It is an expression of national identity, unity, and pride. When I listen to the Star-Spangled Banner, I hear freedom. People who have the freedom to choose. Choose what to believe, how to dress, and what occupation they wish to have. The freedom to pray in public. But that freedom does not come free. It costs lives. It costs families to be away from loved ones for extended periods of time. It costs long nights of anxiety for families whose husbands, wives, sons, and daughters are serving overseas, praying they will see their loved ones again one day. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. We are the land of the free because we are the home of the brave.